What's up everyone? Welcome back to uh, 85 The Ride. Firstly, I just want to um, thank everyone that's already jumped on and bought merch off the web store now that it's finally up. Can't thank you enough, eh? You've um, pretty much cleaned me out. I'm going to have to do a restock um, over the next week. But uh, yeah, huge thanks to um, my friends, family, followers, everyone that jumped on and Grab some straight away, it means the world to me. So, I mean, if you haven't already, jump on. It all supports the channel. There's a lot of new stuff on the way. I've got a uh, few different designs that I'll be bringing out really soon. We're coming into summer in Australia, so gonna drop a heap of new colors, a bunch of singlets and hats. Like I said, a couple new designs. So keep an eye out for those. They should be dropping real soon. Um, I'll definitely have more bike content on the way soon as well. Um, I've got a couple new episodes I'm doing at the moment. The ending to the Wanji Power Station, which will be just me going back through that place at night and exploring the factory side. So keep an eye out for that and a, uh, another bike episode. So I'm going to be doing a couple reviews soon too. I'm going to... Um, the next bike episode will probably be a review on this Honda Rebel. I finally got word back from the Indian dealership. For those of you that didn't know, I um, ordered a um, Indian Scout Bobber back in March. I was told it was only going to be about a three month wait and uh, yeah, here we are. All the way in September and I still haven't seen it yet. But uh, they contacted me the other day and said that I should be expecting it around the 5th of October. So I'm absolutely cheering. It's going to take him about a week or two to do all the mods to the bike because I am heavily modding out the bike right off the bat. Big reason for that, again, a lot of you might already know, but for those of you that don't, I've got a really bad back. I had a fusion done on my lower back on my L5 S1 back in 2020, and uh, it's it's been a life-changing surgery. So hence I started doing my 85 account. Um, have to completely changed career paths so it's like I said been a life-changing experience again hence I'm riding on the road and all the rest of it so this bike is gonna have uh, you know the seat already done suspension already done the higher bars put on there so I sit a little bit straighter just the little things um, Honda Rebels have the uh, foot pegs right back as much as it'll kill some people to hear I am gonna get the reduced reach foot pegs on the um, Indian Scout because uh, I've got a lot of nerve damage in me back so if I have my feet out in front of me it actually causes me quite a bit of pain and it'll make my left leg go almost completely numb within minutes um, which is again unfortunate but I need me uh, pegs back so that I can take my ass off the seat whenever I hit a bump I do that quite a bit stand up on the Rebel and that's the reason behind it trying to just lessen the impact I suppose just little things that I've got to do little adjustments I've got to make to make my life a little bit easier but again it is what it is I'm not in a wheelchair so I can't complain too much people definitely have it a lot worse but in saying that it's definitely not easy not an easy thing to live with so I'm actually um, heading home now I just got an MRI done ah, beautiful very distracting view there um, I just got an MRI done. Uh, I've got to go see my neurosurgeon again next week. So I'll give a brief summary of what's happened to my back for those that are interested. I had a complete disc blowout, uh, leaving me with absolutely no disc left. And the vertebrae slipped forward, like halfway down the bottom vertebrae. And um, it had to be put back up in place. So they've put two screws in the bottom, two screws in the top, and a rubber spacer in the middle acting as a new disc. Now the problem with that is, is there's still a lot of instability. There's no, there's nothing locking that in place, so it still has a slight bit of movement, but because it's bone on rubber, uh, the nerves still get impacted. Um, so I still get a lot of nerve pain, which leads to a bunch of injections and all sorts of stuff that I have to go through for the rest of my life. A thing called radio frequency neurotomies where they go in and they remove the nerves that are being compromised though the only problem with that is the nerves actually grow back every 12 months so it's an ongoing thing to go in and get that you know cortisone injections as well um, 
there's quite a bit to it. I think eventually I'm gonna have to just accept the fact that they're gonna have to come in from the back and put a metal rod that completely fuses those vertebrae together so there's no movement anymore. I'm really hoping that happens a lot further down the track. Still pretty young. Uh, I did this injury when I was, you know, 26 or something so it's just heavily impacted the last five years of my life i know the neurosurgeon wants to go down that path but um that particular rod will also lock off the vertebrae above the two that's been affected so i'll have it way less movement than what i've even got now and i'll tell you what it's pretty hard to stay in shape as much as i do at the moment so that's basically the uh, doom and gloom side of things. Uh, another reason, I suppose, why I don't put out content as much as what I'd like to. That definitely slows it down quite a bit. My time on the bike's very limited. I get sore, obviously, really quick. I can't spend as much time on the bike as what I'd like. Oftentimes, I'm out of action for a couple days after too much riding, or if I go on one of my exploration ventures, it's the same sort of thing. You know, that's a lot of movement, uh, a lot of bending and stuff. Like I said, I'm pretty out of action for a couple days afterwards um, just a little insight into I guess a bit more into my personal life I feel like a lot of people have been asking questions regarding it and uh, let you guys know what sort of goes on behind the scenes a little bit one thing people do say you know it's a bit silly aren't you worried about coming off and this and that and yeah of course I am but you know, riding's been my life eh so to walk away from it completely like, I want to have fun. I know my back is only going to get worse as I get older. And being so young, I'm not just going to pack in the towel now. I can still get out and have fun. I think I'm blessed that I'm able to still do what I do. I was very hesitant to get my um, fusion done. I heard a lot of horror stories originally. You know, people just sort of give up on life after that. The pain's too bad. They can't do this, they can't do that, whereas I'm sort of, you know, I can still do this and it's because I push myself and train my body and keep my back muscles strong enough to be able to do what I do. You know, I feel very blessed to be able to do that, so it's not something that I'm going to give up anytime soon unless I really can't do it, so yes. I am worried about coming off. I feel like I'm very careful and I'm probably going to come off at some stage, but you could be in a car accident or whatever and I could stuff me back that way. I could trip over and hurt myself. I'm definitely not going to live the rest of my life in fear when I've been given the opportunity to still have fun and still live my life to some degree. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, so a lot of people will disagree with that, but guess what? Do what I want. <laughs> But yeah, I'll be doing definitely a video um, going and picking up the uh, Indian Scout Bobber. Got to go right down to Sydney for that one, but um, very excited to pick up that bike. It's already going to have the exhaust and a, um, and all the air filter and everything done to it. The mob's going to do a bit of a tune on the bike. Like test riding that bike prior to it, it had so much power, it was so much fun. Uh, they come out, you know, with 100 horsepower. So to be able to have a little bit more straight off the bat is just going to be unreal. Very excited. But again, guys, I've been um, really enjoying all the comments and all the messages and stuff I've been getting. Keep letting me know what you enjoy about the videos. I'm trying to accommodate for everyone. It's all stuff that I enjoy doing, so I'm having a ball doing it. But um, keep letting me know what you want to see. And I'll um, try to accommodate to everyone. As always, guys, stay safe and um, thanks for watching. Cheers.